Well, there you go. The fishing has been completed and now 30 virus can officially <laughs> Officially as you can see I have over a stack of enchanted lily pad now. That's not enough to do what I want to do But you know if you go into fishing collection lily pad the rod of legends is only like 330 lily pad away in recipe problem is you need two stacks of enchanted lily pad so freaking disappointment but once I do finally get it, then we're going to get an additional 15 fishing speed. And I looked it up, upgrading it immediately to a rod of the sea, which I can do because shark festivals. I get an additional five fishing speed. So plus 20 fishing speed. Once I get an extra stack of lily pad. I can't believe how freaking awful the progression in fishing is. It's so bad. Like we're, we're just going to have to suffer. We're going to have to continue to suffer every step of the freaking way it's like fishing is a path that has had thumbtacks just thrown on the path and you have to walk over it <laughs> to get to the other side there will be pain and suffering now i am too weak sauce to actually handle most of the mobs but just for fun i want to try a couple of legendary griffin mobs this is gonna go poorly I recognize this, especially if I straight off the bat get an Inquisitor. I'm just dead, but I think it would be funny to at least try. Let's hope the game just decides to be nice for literally no reason. Oh, it's a Minos champion. Oh, no. Ah, <gasps> ah no, I got him. <laughs> Aurora staff is goaded chat. It just is. I got half a stack of claws for one freaking kill. What is that? This voodoo doll chat. You can't use voodoo doll on these, right? You can't shoot them with arrows. That's what I've been led to believe. Unless I'm wrong. Chat, am I wrong? Can I actually use voodoo doll on these? Okay, minotaurs are not going to be a problem. I don't I don't have a problem with these. These, these I, I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, minotaurs, not a problem. That was freaking crazy. We killed... <laughs> killed the second strongest mob okay we survived one burrow chain yeah minotaur not a problem i'm not concerned about minotaur the cats i have a feeling are also not going to be a problem i could just splash damage them to oblivion so the real problem is gonna be that dude inquisitors i i keep saying that dude i don't remember what he's called the minos champion minos champion inquisitor and um gaia construct i, I i'm gonna be happy as soon as i get something any rng drop see now finally these are oh no oh no oh no oh no no oh no not again not again can i use this nope just like i thought can't do it all right you know i'm just gonna i you know, hope i can cheese this again i can continue to cheese this kill it fire ah got it <laughs> this shouldn't work this should not be a thing. <laughs> no, strafing's gonna make it worse because he'll get him. It gets him unstuck. If I stand perfectly still, then he'll stay stuck for longer. The, the strategy works. Just bug out his AI and make him just. Oh, this is what I was scared of. Okay, I got him once. Got him again. Yeah, I think using Dreadlord Sword is a better bet than just trying to slap it. So when you, yeah, when you die, the mob despawns. Good to know. It's funny how I'm just learning this now as someone who has a legendary griffin. I want to see if we can get a drop as a noob that is like skipping so much progression. Like Aurora Staff, frankly, should not be able to handle these mobs. But honestly, with the proper skill, I could probably kill everything except for Inquisitors. I can't hope to kill an Inquisitor. There's no freaking way. Yeah, I, it, there's no chance that I can kill an Inquisitor. Like, literally 0% chance. All right, let's try this. Problem is I have thorns in my armor. So it's going to make this slightly more annoying. Oh, I actually won that. No drops yet. Yeah, we're actually managing somehow. <laughs> Give me a drop game. Because now that's a thing that can happen. 
for the first time. Stop giving me feather. I don't know how many you need for Max Beastmaster Crest, but like that's literally all that's left that requires. Well, actually, no, technically Terminator. Can we get a playtime check? 776 hours. Hey, chat, what do you think my first drop's gonna be? As soon as we get a drop, I'm done. I don't care what the drop is. It could be a crown of greed. I oh. Okay. Does the lightning attack only happen if you're standing? <gasps> Cat! It happened! I got a shelmet! I got a shelmet! <laughs> Oh my god, 30 virus gets a shelmet on a profile that's Iron Man that's two months and nine days. Bruh. Ah, oh, let's go. I am far too weak to be in any position to be getting a freaking shelmet, but here we are. Uh, I don't think any of my pets could benefit from a shelmet right now. I'm gonna be 100% with you. I mean, Wither Skeleton's only really good for floor seven. And that does true knockback, so GG. The wolf, actually, yes. That would make sense if I put it on the wolf, because I can use that to spawn slayers and not taking KB while spawning a slayer. Will make me slightly faster, but like, Ugh. I think we're just gonna leave it. I honestly, as cool as that is, there's nothing I could do with it. Well, you know what, chat? There you go. I guess we're done. Unless chat wants me to do some more, maybe we'll do it later. Well, I don't know. Actually, the mayor ends in two and a half hours. So hmm. now I think what I want to do as much as chat's going to hate this, we desperately need to do Kudras. Like I need, <laughs> I need the molten necklace and put, I need to put strength in on it. We might as well make the strength in right now so that we're ready to go. And we desperately need this Aurora chest plate. Like it's not a want at this point. It's a need. Like I need it to actually can you get my face <gasps> dead ah! give me this oh my god finally and it's got mana pool on it oh bro <laughs> finally it doesn't have breeze, but you know what? I'll freaking take it. Ha, oh, dude, I've been waiting so long for this. Aren't you carried? Let's go! And it's got mana pool. Ah, oh, and blazing resistance isn't the worst attribute. And now, if I ever get one of these again, or any Aurora piece for that matter, I'm not taking it unless it's mana pool and breeze. But you know what? That's perfect because now I can finally progress in mage stuff. Now, the last thing we need is the Molten Necklace. Then we're pretty much done with Kudras. Um, again, unless I want to further go crazy with attributes, which it has been so freaking long. I've been trying for like what feels like a month to get this stupid chest plate. And it has Mana Pool on it, which is great. So, this is it for Crystal Chat. This is the last of the Crystal Armor. It's done. It's going to get demoted to the museum. You have served us well in these past two months, month and three weeks-ish. You were a great, especially three-fourths crystal with shadow goggles or even dark goggles. It was a great mage setup. It gave a ton of intelligence and it helped us progress very quickly. But now you're done. Boom. Now you shall sit in the museum for the rest of time. Now, a raw chest plate. I do have a brooch. Pog. Okay. Oh. Wait, I could have put loving on that. Oh. We don't have loving yet. I'm a little sad. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't have a red scarf yet, chat. Kind of a waste of 300k. But you know what? Anything else? I think that's it. Oh, look at that this right here is the mage setup this is going to be my mage setup until we get storm so much money being spent right now ah sad all right there it is boom and there you have it it is done i can't gemstone these yet now the only way to upgrade this is to get better attributes upgrade those attributes technically t6 and 7 enchants but like eh it's not that big a difference. If we're talking like straight up 
making it a better mage setup we need to put loving on the chest plate we need to upgrade the attributes and i need to get wither goggles then this could technically be better than storm out of dungeons now it's going to need a lot of stars and the attributes are going to have to be a high level for that but technically this is the start of something better than storm so wow all right let's do a quick damage test shall we i have a sheep um aurora staff is probably my best bet when it comes to just straight up damage although we also have a voodoo doll uh let's head to crimson isle oh yeah oh yeah and then we have a rejuvenate four which i guess i can put on the boots we are going to apply mana pool so to sum up all the upgrades i have applied wisdom three I probably should also just splash myself now with a Titanic so I can actually make use of that. So there we go. Now I have levels. Uh, I know technically it goes to 500, but whatever. We're not going to talk about that. Um, we have Wisdom now. We have the Chest Plate now, which is actually not all that big a buff in Intelligence versus the Crystal Chest Plate. But the big difference is in the effective health. That's huge. Also um i put rejuvenate on several pieces i'm just a lot tankier now is what is basically happening here um but once i get loving on that chest plate then my ability damage is going to go up which will be nice overall though my mana is still higher i'm almost at 3k while holding aurora staff that's insane mana pool three wow plus 60 intelligence see now this is a big upgrade from the crystal chest plate yeah 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 okay good so now while i'm holding this 2841 intelligence now how much is that if i boom 327k okay Ch <laughs> damage did not change at all can i kill one of these in one hit now i've been trying to do that for so long probably still not gonna do it i think we've hit the point again where ability damage yeah it just maybe if i put loving on the chest plate it will but this is about as good as we're gonna get so it's not that big an upgrade wow sheep pet oh wait oh i switched to wolf i clicked the wrong wait 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 i clicked the wrong pet i thought it was the sheep it is three thousand chat three thousand mana we hit 3,000 mana! 3,000 freaking mana outside dungeons. No way. We officially one tapped a mushroom bull. This has been my. Oh my god, the Aurora staff does like 500k? What? That's actually a huge increase. What the hell? That's actually good damage. Never mind. Uh, actually, big upgrade in damage. I just had the wrong pet out because stupid virus. Holy crap, dude. Dead. 3,000 mana on this profile. I could take these out like it's nothing now because I could just go like boop. I'm pretty sure it just got double hit by arrows. Could do it again. And you're done. Like, it's just too easy now. Like, I can kill mini bosses like it's freaking nothing. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna die. Like, you're just done just from that. Like, I don't even have to... I don't even have to hit you. You're just done. Goodbye. I can one-tap those too. How about the spiders? Can I one-tap a flaming spider? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, I can. I can one-top... One top. Okay, so now the question is... Hey, chat, you want me to go back to doing Diana stuff? Now that I actually do damage, it might be even easier. So maybe perhaps we get more drops? Let's let's give it a shot. Let's just see. If it's still, like, really boring and awful, then we're not going to do it. But just... I Okay, we're going to put this away because we can't use it. But, like, a part of me just wants to see. How easy is it now? It's going to be even easier once I get loving on the chest plate. But, like... Hmm. It also be nice to upgrade. Oh, okay. 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 It worked. How much am I doing now? He's too far away, bro. Stop running so far. It's still like 300k a hit.
That seems to be the best attunement. Hey, look at this. My healing's actually good. Hey, I can survive these now. Kind of. Ow. Still hurts, though. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Ah! Uh-oh. He's being smart. His AI isn't broken anymore. There we go. Let's get rid of him quick before he takes out my health. Oh. No! Oh, I have a mana flux now. I completely forgot about that. I have freaking mana flux and I'm using Aurora Staff, which does 10 mana per shot. What is wrong with me? Why am I not using mana flux? I completely forgot I upgraded to that. Oh, here we go. Eh. 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 Oh. Can I hit you? How are you still alive? <laughs> you killing a guy construct is like a dojo mini game. <laughs> Let's go. Crochet tiger plushie chat. Oh my God. Now I really got to get that Enderman pet to level 100. Oh, dude. Enderman pet with a crochet tiger plushie is exactly what I freaking need to do T3s. Oh, man. You know what, chat? I think that's the goal for today. We're prepping for T3 Enderman. I have full final destination armor. I think I need to get 10k kills on the helmet, 20k on the boots. And then obviously chest plate and leggings are somewhere in the middle. If I do that, I get soul flow. I use a level 100 epic enderman with crochet tiger plushie. And I use the soul flow ability. I think we might be able to do it. I think we might be able to get a T3 kill. And if we can, then it's time to grind out null atoms. Because then I'd be able to craft the void edge katana, I believe. Is it called void edge? No, it's... Not Void Edge, whatever the frick it's called. The second best one. I have Void Edge, whatever the next one is. Vorpal, there you go. And then we'll be able to craft Vorpal Katana. Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, Skyblock level, that just reminded me of something. I'm still just barely hanging on to one of the top 1,000 Iron Man players. Literally by one placement. Out of 30,000 Iron Man players, I am technically still in the top 1,000. By one. <laughs> but that's out of 30,000 Iron Man players. The more people that log in that haven't already. I'm going to be honest. It's been like a week since Iron Man or since this update came out. I feel like most of the people that have a good skyblock level play frequently enough that they would have logged in by now. So I might be able to hold this. I might be able to hold top 1000, maybe. And keep in mind, chat, there's a lot of items that are like worth literally zero coins that I could just donate to the museum to get my score up. Like, I'm in top 1000 Iron Man without going specifically for Skyblock XP. That I think is impressive. If I actually dedicated a whole stream to getting a higher Skyblock level specifically, then I think we'd probably be able to get top like 800, most likely.